here. We're going to uh, let's go ahead and open up for questions for Coach Sumlin. What were your overall impressions of today? Well, um, you know, there were some things we wanted to accomplish that we didn't. Uh, I thought um, offensively, you know, it's 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 when you sit here, it, it's you're critical of both. You know, offensively, obviously, in the second half, we were much better. Defensively, in the first half, we were much better. So, um, you know, the, the takeaway from that is, um, you know, we struggled. We didn't really get in the rhythm offensively too much uh, early. Uh, the good, the the good news was that went into halftime and uh, came out and scored quickly on a long drive. So that was good to see a team respond like that after sitting down for a while. Um, but you know we would uh, you know we need to to uh, really become we had some trouble with the snap count early um, let's see we've had that in the last couple um, couple scrimmages and, and it really, you know we've changed the snap count from what Khalil was used to um, on the clap to more of an audible count side count so he's still getting used to that there's some things we're still getting used to on both sides but uh, I thought uh, there was some, uh, one of the bright spots was, uh, were our running backs. I thought that uh, all of them um, competed. I thought they ran hard. Um, uh, and, and that was a great sign for, you know, to, to have some, some depth behind JJ, you know, because he's a smaller guy. You can't play him a, a bunch of snaps, but there's definitely. Uh, a place for uh, the, the way the, those guys ran tonight. So that was probably the biggest plus of the night. Defensively, what would you say your, your biggest plus was? Um, you know, I thought that uh, we were the, the first group um, was physical. We, we've got to be able to develop some depth out of that second group. And, and uh, you know, we, we just talked in there about the, the, what the summertime is, what this, what, what this is about. And between now and August is when um, an individual, a football player, can make the biggest strides physically. Um, whether it, it, because of strength and conditioning, because of summer school, because the guys are here, um, you know, we can take them through programs and and with nutrition um, become a stronger football team. And that's what the summer is about. And and. Really up front on both sides, we need to do that, and you know we got to grow depth, but we also got we have to um, continue to um, grow strength wise, and uh, that's what the challenge is going to be on both sides of the ball, up front. What's your reaction just to the fans that showed up? And oh, I just I thought it was great. You know, I thought the atmosphere was great, the weather was great. Um, I don't know what, you know what. It, what the normal was for the spring game. So, um, but uh, I thought that it was a great atmosphere and, and uh, you know, we appreciate it. I know that uh, our players appreciate it, appreciated it because they were buzzing around before the game instead of it just being a scrimmage because fans bring a, and the band too, that was good. Uh, you know, television, you know, it's, it's a, it was, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was about as game-like as you could get to start it. How well have you been received since you've been here? Um, no, the community has been, uh, it's been great. Tucson's been great. Uh, I can't tell you how many, it's just uh, how many people, the first thing they say is welcome to Tucson. Uh, and, you know, it's, uh, the, the challenge is, is uh, there's, there's all these restaurants. <laughs> uh, just to, you can eat something different every night. And I, it's kind of crazy. I said, I was telling somebody the other day, I said, does anyone cook in this town? Because the breasts are, and they're all full, you know, so, uh, and they're all really good. So it's, it's been a great experience. I mean, just, uh, I was I'm sitting here right now thinking about where I'm going to go eat tonight. It's a, uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's a great place to live. Uh, you know, our administration has been wonderful. It started with them. Uh, and, and then, you know, as you get across campus, you're meeting people and students and, and then, you know, just the community in itself, you know, the people are, are friendly um, and been, have been very, very welcoming. And I said, boy, this is great, you know, but I know that uh, I'm undefeated right now. So that's, that's probably has a little bit to do with it, but I just believe it. You know, people are genuine here and, and 
um, really, really enjoying it. Do you feel that you have kind of a shorter time to prepare for this than, than you normally would? Has uh, had any effect on spring practices or the spring game? Uh, I don't know. You know, January 15th, you know, it, it, you, it, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I, I don't I don't really see that because, you know, most universities, a lot of places school doesn't start till you know, Martin Luther King weekend that, that Monday. So uh, just being hired at that point really doesn't do because you're not doing anything with the players anyway. Does that make sense? Um, so that, I don't think that really has much of an effect on spring game. And what, what it did have an effect on, um, what did have an effect on our preparation, I think a little bit was the change of spring break. Um, was a different was a different week this year because we usually start practice a week, go spring break, and then go spring football. Um, but that kind of changed things a little bit for us. And, and uh, I think the other deal is is that when you you got a new staff and new players, um, we really wanted to take some time to to maybe another week for installation and just to get to know the guys, you know. So. Um, a little bit better. I think you know it's it's different now, and that's what I was I wanted to explain earlier is that you know for for those first eight ten weeks or eight to ten weeks, you know you're on an eight hour rule, which if you use that, you've got we use six hours for um, strength and conditioning, which and then it's two hours a week um, to meet with the players. So 30 minutes, really 30 minutes for three days. So it's hard to get to know the players and hard to get to know, you know, what they're about, hard to get to know um, what they can do. And when you get to spring football, that eight-hour window becomes a 20-hour window, including uh, strength and conditioning, which is a huge difference uh, with four hours a day maximum. So, you know, that's that's where – our relationships, getting to know guys, um, them getting to know you, um, being around them all that time, it's, it's a big step in, in, and it's a big difference than, than you know, earlier in the spring. What have you learned about your team over the last four weeks? Um, I don't know. We're, we're pretty young. I know that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, uh, and I've learned, because since I've had the tape on the helmets, I can take the tape off now, because I know everybody's name. That's the first one. Uh, it's, it's, it's really funny as a coach, as soon as you start to learn everybody's names, then you put them a helmet on, you got to look in there and see who it is. So we went back to the tape and I told them we can take it all off now. But, you know, it, it's, um, you know, you get to know guys, you get to know, um, you know, strengths and weaknesses. Um, I think, it, you know, the, the big deal is trying to develop leadership right now and, and seeing who those people are for the summer. Um, you know, this week we will spend time with, with our players individually and talk about strengths and weaknesses um, and do some goal setting for them for this, for this off season. And, um, you know, and then the, the next big challenge is, is to keep trying to develop some leadership on a, on a young team and who those guys are. You know, we've got a better handle on that right now, certainly than we did a month ago um, by putting them in some critical situations, some different situations, and then seeing how they've reacted. So I think, you know, the leadership development piece is, is big right now. Um, you know, and, and obviously you always want your best players to be your leaders. Um, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, some guys just want to play football, you know, and 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 – you know, some guys just aren't rah rah guys. So you know that not that that means it's leadership, but I think right now that's where we, where we have to, um, where we have we got to spend some time. This may be a dumb question, but can anything be can anything be won or lost at this time? Um, you mean what? Can can a job <laughs> be won or lost at this time? Uh, uh, in the short time you have had with it. I don't know about that. I mean, I think what we're trying to do, we, uh, you look out there tonight, you know, we got all kinds of guys out there playing. So we're, we're trying to figure out um, what our best five in, in the O-line is. You know, uh, we know what we have at, um, in, in some areas, 
but um, but you know it's it, it takes eleven. So I don't think it's it's right now. I think obviously you know you've you've got uh, a group a core group of guys that you know are going to play, are going to start, and you got to keep developing the other guys um, based on experience and, and based on what they've done this spring. I thought our linebackers had an excellent spring. Um, two young guys and inside in particular um, that have really made some steps, uh, and you can see that they're, they're you can see their experience. You know, they're they're young, but they're experienced and they like to play, and and they've continued to do better that way. Uh, you had some time with with Khalil. What uh, what did you see from him today, and then also throughout spring that you like, and what do you think is the biggest thing he's got to work on before he get into real? Games? Well, you know, the big deal for him is, is you know that we've talked about is he's he's a dynamic player. Uh, he's explosive, um, and you know the, the the big thing for him, I think everybody's got to remember he's only played in seven games, and right? so he's played, he's not that experienced a guy. Now there were seven great games, but there are only seven games, so he's still um, an inexperienced player, and um, and he's got to come to work and, and work at it every day, um, and he's getting better. You know you've got a different system. And, you know, he's got, uh, you know, different terminology. He's a lot of things going on, and, and we're going fast with the two in tempo. So, you know, it, it's a, he's still a work in progress. I mean, I don't think there's um, – really, I, I don't think there's anybody on our football team right now that they, we can just say, woof, this guy's – you know, he's, he's made it. He's, we're, we're here. This, whole, this is a work in progress, and, and he's part of that work in progress. You need to see from him this summer when he's on his own and trying to get better. Um, well, see, that was kind of I was going to make a joke there. I can't see see him because he's on his own. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, you know we'll sit down this week and talk about that. You know what what does that look like? He's you know the quarterbacks run our uh, seven on sevens, you know, which puts them in a leadership role. For those times, and 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 then to continue to to grow, to continue to get command of the offense, to continue to understand uh, his progressions, uh, and continue to understand the conflict players in, in in RPO game, RPO system. Since there's different levels of those, you know, everybody talk thinks it's always the end or a man on the line. There's a second level conflict, sometimes even a third level conflict. So, you know, understanding those things and, and understanding defense is even more so that instead of you know, sign out there today, counting people and pointing it, you know, that's that's okay. All right. But um, trying to get to the point where, you know, that's, that's, uh, he can just see it and do that. And that takes reps. So that's what summertime's about, you know, and, and, uh, and, and film study and, and just becoming a, you know, just understanding things a little bit more, and I think he's she's trying to sit in there a little bit more and, and run around all the time, and you know. But but we're gonna play to his strengths. So and and I've said this before, you know, it's not all on him. It's you know, it takes ten other players, and 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 a coaching staff to make this offense quarterback friendly, and who those guys are on the field are just as responsible for our, our success offensively as as. Khalil is. Uh, this offense previously has run more of a spread. You historically kind of run more of a, a run and shoot offense. What's the transition been kind of implementing your kind of scheme to a, maybe an offense? We like are nowhere near a run and shoot offense. Um, it's, it's a different, that's a different style of football. Um, so if anything, we're closer to probably what Rich did last year. Um, and I thought that, uh, that our two tight ends that we have in the program right now, we've got a couple coming in here. You know, we're, we're going to utilize those guys. Um, you know, just probably similar to what they're just based on some of the video I watched is based on what they did last year. So it's not a huge departure that from offensively from what happened to what, what it is. It's, it's just, you know, there's a lot of different terminology. And, you know, when you get to one-word plays, when you go fast, you you're, you go to one-word plays. 
And when you go to one word plays, it just it, it takes a lot of memorization. Just to yell one word and everybody know, <laughs> knows what they're doing. And, you know, the quarterback's got to know all those words and what they mean. And sometimes that gets confusing. But that's what, to your somebody's question, what, what are you looking for this summer? That's the other piece of it. So when you go fast, you can't go with the 200 jet spider two wide banana. We don't have time for that. You got to have one word <laughs> plays, and uh, and that puts a little bit more pressure on on the quarterback to to know exactly where everybody is going with a one word system. You have a building block on defense, some maybe a position group that you're more comfortable with than the rest. I just said the linebackers were, I thought were great. This, this, um, um, they got ways to go, and they're, they're, they're you know, we got to challenge them physically. Uh, but they're young guys; they love to play, um, you know. And, and you know, since they're experienced and they like to play, you know, we're going to lean on them a little bit than we did this spring. And they answered that challenge. They practiced every practice and flew around, and so. You know, they got a chance to be a, that group. Those those guys in there got a chance to be a special group. We've got time for one or two more quick questions. Can you, we'll bring our players in. Can you clarify the status of a couple players, Scotty Young Jr. and Keyshawn Johnson Jr.? Uh, Scotty Young is uh, suspended. Was suspended before um, before spring football, and you know we're just going to see where that process goes. Um, what was the other one? Yeah, he's he's not on the roster, so you know I'm I'm not really having any comment on that. I'm not going to comment on anybody who's not on the roster. Can you clarify at all why Scotty Young was suspended? Is it a, a conduct related or discipline? It's just he's suspended. Um, you guys have a lot of construction projects going with the stadium, and then they're going to tear down with a lot of stuff over at the practice field. Is that going to affect anything? This summer and for yes. player workouts and also in fall camp, could it? Uh, uh, funny you should bring that up. You know, we, we uh, I think we get started Monday on, on this. Day. We've held off on starting on, on that project until, we didn't, I just didn't want to practice in the stadium every day. You know, turf, it's a lot less. It's, you know, we had the two grass fields over there. I think that that takes a little pounding off of people. And, and, and uh, so we're starting on that Monday. Um, you know, it's it's different in the off season. And instead of tackling and doing a lot of things, and, and grass is a lot better. But you know, when we'll start <clears throat> during summer school, you know, the the nine on I mean, the seven on sevens and Pascal, uh, they'll be in the stadium. That'll be fine. Uh, we utilize it. We walk right out of the weight room and and do do conditioning out there too. Um, so you know, we've got access. Um, to that field, we've got access to the field next door, Bear Down Field. So we, we've got plenty of space for our football team. Um, when you were at Texas, question. when you were at Texas A&M, you had Miles Garrett go uh, number one pick in the draft. Christian Kirk's going to be a high pick. You've had a lot of <coughs> um, a lot of NF, a lot of draft picks. Here, it's been kind of a mixed bag. Maybe every other year, a couple guys get picked. How important is it to kind of get that going here in Arizona to have guys regularly being drafted? It is. It, it can be, but. You know, we also I've also been a part of a team that won twelve games and then you know, not one guy got picked. You know, not even the all time leading passer in the history of college football. So, you know, that that <laughs> you know, that, that happens. And but we we want to um, you know we want to recruit at that level and we want to develop at that level. And so ultimately you know, it's just like a meeting I had in recruiting today. It's okay. It's okay to want to play in the NFL. Um, we, we like that mentality. But it's also the same mentality we want in, in our student athletes to, to, to earn a degree. And, uh, but uh, that process is, you know, there's two ways. You've got, you've, the, the, you have to recruit at a certain profile. That doesn't mean as a five-star guy. I think you recruit. To you'll see us recruit guys and sign guys that um, have no stars, and you'll see us recruit and sign guys that have five stars. And um, but I, that doesn't matter to us. It's what fits your your our recruiting profile and what fits 
you know, what fits our offense, defense, and special teams plan. And uh, that's what we're looking for. And then the next step is the developmental piece. You know, how are we going to do that through strength and conditioning, through nutrition, through all those things. And, and ultimately, you know, it, it, those products do sell. You know, the ability to, to, to have those guys walk across and be in, be in the green room and, um, and shake hands and hug. A lot of crying going on in there. It's it's a real emotion and it's a it's a big deal. So yeah, we we we're going to recruit to be a part of that, and and that does nothing but help uh, help your program on the field currently, <coughs> but also but also recruiting wise. All right, all right. Thanks, guys.